Why should I change? We have a great onboarding system. We look after our employees and their milestones. Those little micro systems, if they're not pulled together under one house or with one strategic mindset, that's where you're losing you know, a fantastic opportunity to, to add some serious value to their employees. Ali, welcome yes. to Hi. the interview session here at the HR Congress 2019 in uh, Nice. So, um, you talked about employee experience at N26 uh, in the session before. So, maybe you can just summarize in short uh, what the journey was uh, N26 was stepping. Sure, I might even step a little bit back um, before that experience, but I am a traditional marketer. So I have um, quite an extensive period in, in, the, in an alternative department, if that makes sense. And, uh, and my role at N26, as it was previously as well, um, was to design and pull together the employment experience, um, all of the employment experience, uh, departments and touch points under one roof. Traditionally, uh, it, was it was quite fragmented and um, broken and diverse um, amongst the HR department uh, and this was quite a new opportunity to pull it all together. That sounds great. I had a discussion with Volker Jacobs from TI People about employee experience just 10 minutes ago and my question was a little bit about the scope of employee experience in context of um, freelancer contingent workers. So how do you manage all other people that deliver work to the organization sure. compared to the permanent workers you have in your organization? I think it's the same and it's a really good question because it often falls under workplace, for example, facility management, security, anyone that is temporary, um, em temporarily employed but still engaged still needs to be a part of this process. Whether you walk into an office and the person that greets you at the door, it doesn't matter if they're a temp or they're a full-time employee for 10 years, you should still feel like that they are part of the journey and the experience, but they should also feel part of it. You don't want to feel that your cleaning staff is just another facilitator or another contractor, nor should your employees feel like just because they're on a short-term project that they're not one of you. So I think um, a holistic approach, but also one that is um, nimble enough that can onboard and offboard um, flexibly uh, depending on the workplace situation, but I think it's really important that that's where the seamlessness comes into the experience, but also the way that it's designed. It needs to be, like I said, nimble enough and dynamic enough that you can drop someone in, drop a team in, even if they're with you for three or four weeks or nine months, they have an, an effect on the broader experience um, for employees that are full-time, as well as the sort of the integrity of the, of the um, experience itself. I'm head of HRIT and HR analytics, so with my peers, we had intensive discussions about the value add of employee experience. So um, on different levels, we, we discussed that we see a lot of correlations, but not so many causations. So how is your personal experience in transporting exactly um, to, the, to the top management that there is a value add in employee experience delivery within an organization? Sure, I think the foremost is to show the value of it. And, you know, unfortunately, most businesses are wired the same way. It is how much is this going to cost and what is the impact and how is it going, what is the value it's going to add. If you can um, articulate what that value is, that's authentic and I think very transparent for the business, that has a long term, it, has a, it, has, it doesn't have a use by date. It's not something that we're going to spend an amount of time and resource on that isn't long lasting. I think that's where the biggest value is. Um, being able to show that um, clearly and succinctly for everybody, how it's going to be managed, how the ownership is divided, who is responsible for this project and who is responsible for the output, all of that packaged nicely it shouldn't be taxing on the business. It is something that improves its uplift. It is, uh, like I said, an investment for employees, but also for the scale and the growth of the business. It's not um, it shouldn't be seen as a, a cost function that has zero um, value. And I think that's tasked heavily on the ownership of the HR team as well. I mean, it's, it's inherent that that's part of their business. Um, but for the skeptics, for the people that aren't necessarily bought in, and, and again, it's fair because it's often new territory. It's why should I change? We have a great onboarding system. We look after our employees and their milestones. Those little micro systems, if they're not pulled together under one house or with one strategic mindset, that's where 
you're losing uh, you know, a fantastic opportunity to, to add some serious value to their employees. Ali, thanks a lot for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day. Cool. Thanks for having you here. Thank you. Cheers.